Hello from Bear River. Today is March 14th. The flow is 400 cubic feet per second. It went down to 200 and looked pretty bad. And now it's went up to 500 and came back to 400. So it's that industrial control of our water flow. And here's the rim dam that I talk about. You can see the rocks over there. But yeah, the flow is a lot less than it has been. But you can see this little kind of rise um, creating uh, the water brimming over. That's why I, maybe I could call it a brim dam instead of rim. It's more of a brim. But uh, you got some depth here in what I call Beaver Pond 2. You can see the rocks down there really sticking out because the flow dropped. Because uh, PG&E supposedly had some kind of emergency outage. So they dropped it from like 1250 down to 200 in a week. And uh, then they brought it up a little. So here we are. And uh, I had talked about this becoming Beaver Pond 2 here with the willows. I'm making a slideshow for the Sierra Club meeting in May. And it's a slow process and I'm just watching it and watching it. Watching it work out. So the far channel. This is the channel that showed up eight years ago. The videos have surfaced on Facebook and it was uh, straight across just solid water and um, here the bank has uh, eroded down to the um, what do they call those things? They put fencing and um, big rocks to hold this bank up when they were trying to preserve the campground. And uh, the things are starting to leaf out and the river's trying to recover. And now uh, we don't live in a perfect world. Um, this is no different than it has been in the past as far as the managed flows and the industrial structural emergencies in and out, up and down, roundabout. I do see over on the island there, I don't know if it's visible, but there's a little wet spot there where those willows are. So groundwater rising. I just wish, I wish, I wish for good things for Bear River. Many Wachoni, water is life.